Hey guys, so today is Thursday. Um, I'm starting a fresh. Yes, it is. You literally just said I thought it was Friday, but it's not. It's Thursday. It's not Wednesday. It Stop confusing me because I'm losing track of my days. <laughs> so today's Thursday. Uh, I've finally started the series three of Stranger Things. I know it came out on the 4th of July, but I just haven't got around to watching it. So I'm like halfway through that season. So good. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend. And I also edited the rest of the vlog that needed to be edited today. So I'll just have to add the last clip from last night and upload that. So if I don't get around to it tonight, I'll do it tomorrow. I really want to try and get through my YouTube planner tomorrow. And yeah, I want to get around to filling a bit of that out and planning some videos for you guys. So if you have any like suggestions on what you want me to film, then leave them in the comments. Um, but yeah, I just want to say good evening. I hope you guys are well. I am super excited for the weekend because it's the Man United game. It's Man United versus Perth Glory and I've been looking, well, Tom and I have both been looking forward to this for ages. So cannot wait. I'm a bit anxious about what the seating arrangement is going to be like and if it's going to cause me a lot of pain and obviously I expect I'll be in a little bit of discomfort but I just hope we'll be able to, I'll be able to get to my seat okay and we don't have too much of a drama with that but I guess we shall see uh but yeah anyway just want to say good morning slash good evening I'm so used to saying good morning not sure how much I'm gonna vlog tomorrow I'll try and vlog as much as I can uh update on my arm it's feeling a lot better pain wise and the bruising uh has like it's changing color now so it's actually feeling it's like pressure has been released from the area so it's starting to feel a lot better and another thing you guys keep commenting is has my feeding tube been fixed and the answer to that is no we're kind of going through a bit of uh, a discussion with my team at the moment at the moment my consultant wants me to get a separate G and J tube so I don't have to keep going under general anesthetic they'd be a lot shorter and I'd be able to change them myself that's something that we're kind of discussing at the moment uh, but I don't know when it's gonna happen but I do, I'm a bit like, ugh, I don't want to get another tube. But I know, like, long term, that is the best option. So that's what we're kind of discussing at the moment. But I am planning on getting it fixed within the next couple of weeks. That's that. So before I forget, it's been a long time coming since we've done one of these. But welcome to another episode of... Things that make you go... Hmm. The American edition. <laughs> the 4th of July edition, just a couple of days late. If you view a bald eagle in a zoo, your view in the... American symbol of freedom in captivity. <laughs> Things that make you go, hmm. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So today is Friday. Uh, I have to get my bloods done today. So that's what Tom and I are gonna go do today. And we've got a few other little things I've gotta do as well. So I shall be vlogging. Just, I'm currently uploading my latest vlog. So I'm currently up to date, which makes me happy that I don't have a huge backlog of editing that I need to do. I'm just trying to make sure that I've got everything. I just need to grab my blood form from my car, but we, I'll just take my keys with me when we go outside. I think that's it, isn't it? Mm -hmm. There's nothing else that I need to update on. Outfit, um, I'll get Tom to, once he's got, he's just putting his shoes on, I'll get him to hold the camera so I can show you guys what I'm wearing. Um, and then we're gonna, ready to go. I just realised is it too much with the denim and the denim? It's fine. <laughs> okay, so I'm wearing this jumper, which you kind of can't really see, but it's like a pink fluffy jumper with my denim jacket. And we'll make up around the collar. Huh? Yeah, I know I need to wash that, ignore that. And then, look, go down, down more. And then I'm wearing these jeans with these pink vans, like old school vans, but they're kind of like velvety. Um, and yeah, that's my outfit for the day. Anyway, yeah, we're going out now, so let's go. <laughs> Come on. Go. So we're home now. Um, I'm going to show you what I'm wearing tomorrow for the game. Or actually, I'll probably show you tomorrow. No, no, I'll, yeah, I'll show you tomorrow. So we're about to change our dressing at home. I'll just show you the little stuff that we've got in our little thing here. So we've got some like a laced patch type thing that's going to go underneath the dressing. That's the dressing. And then we've just got like sterile field and tegaderm that's going to go on top of everything to keep it all good. I'm going to lay this way so my head's going to be there. My body's going to be across here. And then Tom's going to set up the sterile field there. And that's how we're going to do it. 
Um, the reason we're doing this is because otherwise we're literally going to be at the doctor's every other day and they're going to have to just keep changing the dressing. So there's no reason why we can't do it at home. You know, we're doing it the exact same way they would. So first time changing the dressing at home, hopefully will go well. Do you need me to have gloves on or anything? Okay. All right then. Also, if anyone's wondering why we have to keep changing it so often, it's because of where it is. Like, it's in a really awkward spot where, because there's like a lot of movement, even if you're just like walking. Um, Tom's cleaning the table. But yeah, even if I'm just like walking normally, like it catches a lot. So it kind of just starts to peel up around the edges. And obviously when that happens, it has to be changed because it has to be covered until they say otherwise. Anyway, thought I'd add that in before we start. Hey guys, really always have to ruin it. So I know I haven't updated since yesterday, but we're at the stadium, as you can't tell, if you can't tell. Um, goodness, Caitlin's shocking at driving this wheelchair. <laughs> I'm not. Um, I'm gonna try and update when we're, it's not as loud. Oh my God, <laughs> stop. Um, but I feel like it's gonna be quite windy out here, so I'll update when we get to our seats and show you my outfit and everything. But um, yes. Solo, I still remember long ago when I saw you so cold. I gave my jacket blue and gold. Then you said, Okay, so I was gonna show you guys what I'm wearing, but I changed outfits. United, it's so loud. Oh, and the beanie, it's so cold, guys. Ooh. beautiful people I'm looking very today I think it's because I had my TPN and then we ran a bag of fluids like over an hour almost and I'm having more TPN so I'm very like anyway I had an amazing night I'm sorry that the footage was probably shocking because it was so loud like all the time and I forgot to vlog before we left for the stadium so today's vlog has been pretty much all over the shop so I'm sorry for that and I'm sorry if I'm a bit shaky now because I don't have my tripod on I, I couldn't fit it in my bag without the tripod because I had too much stuff in there. <laughs> my hip is really really hurting now but I think it was mostly because of the cold air because we're obviously this spoon in the stadium that was outside not because I did too much moving because I, I was in my wheelchair so I didn't on, I didn't do too much walking it was pretty much just from the car and then I did a little bit when we we're outside because we went to like see one of the merchandise stands and I did get a Man United hoodie that says Man United has the little, you know, 1878 logo, and then it has the Perth Tour 2019. Um, I wasn't gonna get any merch, but I didn't realize that they had Perth Tour on there, and I figured they're probably not gonna come again, and if they do, it's gonna be many, many, many years from now, so I thought I would get one. Um, plus, I'm glad I did because it was super cold, so I ended up having to buy a beanie and this just to keep warm. But yeah, I had an amazing night. Uh, glad I went. You guys can go check my Instagrams. Both of them are down below and Tom's Instagram is down below as well because we've all uploaded pictures. And in case you couldn't really hear me, this was the top that I wore. Just the Man United last season's away kit. So that's what I wore to go to go in and then I ended up buying this. So I ended up putting this over that and then my big aviator coat. But yeah, anyway, I'm tired. So we're just watching the like, the rest of our, the Orange is the New Black episode because we've been re-watching it from season one because we've forgotten what happened. And I know season seven comes out at the end of the month. Tomorrow, uh, we do having a bit of like co coffee and cake or whatever. We're meeting at a cafe tomorrow, like meet like some of the girls from the support group so that should be fun 
So that's happening tomorrow lunchtime at 12 o'clock. So, and Courtney will be there, and Chloe, and a bunch of other girls, and plus some people I've never met, so should be good. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna head to bed now, and I'll see you guys in the morning. But yeah, go check out my socials for pictures from tonight because it was super fun. Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday, it's the next day. Um, <clears throat> I'd show you my makeup, but I haven't really done much. To be honest, I actually forgot to um, take it off last night. So I kind of just worked with what I had on and then added some more on top, which I know is really gross, but I just didn't have time this morning and I didn't want to not wear anything. And I thought if I take it all off and start from scratch, that I'm gonna not have enough time to do what I want to do. So we're working with what we've got. Um, I'm wearing a white uh, turtleneck t-shirt, like, like long sleeve. With this grey cardigan, the jeans I had on last night, and my white platformed converse. I'll show you proper, I'll get someone or Tom to show you later, if I remember, probably not. <laughs> um, but we're on our way to meet all the girls at the coffee place, what's it called? Dome, that's it. It's like a cafe, and they do food and everything, so people who want to eat can eat, people who can't eat won't eat. And yeah, I'm pretty excited. We are running a little bit late, but I'm not, I'm only gonna be like 10 minutes late, so it's not a big deal. Uh, I am a bit sore from last night but I think it's more from the cold than anything so now if I'm being outside for a long period I think I need to bring some long johns. I don't know bring something that I can protect my hip with whether it's like a heat pad or something I don't know I'll have to figure it out. But anyway yeah on our way. Hey guys there's a couple things I want to talk about before I end my vlog. The lunch well I say lunch, but kind of lunch, little meetup, shall I say, went really well. Kind of, I felt bad because I was the first to leave, but I know everyone didn't leave much later after I left. But like, I felt bad because I felt like super nauseous and I was starting to feel a bit rubbish and I didn't want to like, you know, put a downer on it. So I was oh, I just said goodbye to everyone and then left and then came home and took some and on Dazzatron and had a nap and it felt a lot better after that. So that went all well. I am super into Orange is the New Black. I want to read the book, but I'm not sure if it's worth getting. Like, is it basically just gonna be exactly like the series or what? Like, I don't know. Like, everyone told me about the Call the Midwife books. I bought this to read in the hospital, never read it. But I literally just finished Zack and Mia last night. So I'm starting this tonight, Call the Midwife. But everyone said that the books are like better than the series or just as good. And there's multiple books. But yeah, I just want to know, is anyone read Orange is the New Black? by that Piper Kerman, I think her last name is. It's for basically what the series is based off. Like if, if anyone's read it keen, let me know if it's worth reading or not, because I'm really umming and ahhing whether to like order it or not. Thirdly, lastly, um, I need a series to watch, a good series that I can get into that's not gonna, excuse me, that's not gonna take me ages to get into it. Because at the moment, I've got, I've got quite a few things on my watch list and I'm only into Orange is the New Black at the moment. Like everything else, like I've, I've put it on and I've just been like, ugh. I'm caught up with Stranger Things. So I kind of started re-watching that, but it's a little bit boring because it's like the fifth time I've watched season one now. So I'm kind of just like not really paying attention. It's kind of something to just put on in the background. But yeah, I need a good series to watch basically. Um, something that I can get into quite quickly that's not going to take me ages to get into it and that I'm going to like. You guys know the type of thing I like, the type of thing I watch. So something along those lines, I guess. I'm pretty much up for anything. It's annoying because I'm watching Orange is the New Black, but I'm watching it with Tom, so I can't watch it in the day when he's at work because he's going back to work tomorrow. He's been off for two weeks now. Or two, two and a half weeks or three weeks if you include the week I was in hospital. But yeah, basically I'm watching Orange is the New Black with him. So I need something that I can watch while he's at work and while I'm editing and doing stuff. And I just don't know what to watch. So please leave your suggestions down below my beautiful people. And hopefully I will find something that piques my interest. Anyway, I have had a long day. I'm quite tired now, um, but I love you guys so, 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 so much. Hopefully I'll be consistently vlogging next week. I plan to. I plan to sit down and go through my YouTube planner and fill it in and organise some videos that I can sit down and film or at least organise what I'm going to film this week so I can get something up on my main channel. I don't know if it's just me but I'm feeling quite flushed. I think I feel like I look a bit rosy cheeked. But anyway, and it's also Tom's birthday this Sunday so 
we're gonna go out Thursday and I'm gonna take him shopping and there's a few things that uh, I want to get him or he wants to get so I figured out I said to him right Thursday is late night shopping so I said to him I was like right we'll go out Thursday and we can go and get all your presents and I'll wrap them up for you you can't have them till Sunday um, but we are going out on Friday with Courtney's partner Possibly, it's not 100% confirmed yet, but because Courtney, Harry, Courtney's partner Harry and Tom, their birthdays are so close to each other. I think Harry's birthday's on Friday and Tom's on Sunday, so I think we're going to go out Friday for drinks, like Friday night. Um, and I said to Tom we'd go out Saturday night and do something for his birthday then, and then we can go for like lunch on Sunday on his actual birthday. Bit of a foolish week coming up, and I've got quite a few appointments to move around and rearrange. Anyway, I love you guys so much. If you enjoyed this vlog, please do give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. I love you guys to the moon and back, and I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow or in my next vlog. Good night guys.